This video will show the fixation of a mandible fracture with mini ties. The patient has excellent dentition and a simple mandible fracture, making him a prime candidate for a surgeon's initial mini ties case. Seven of the eight total ties have been placed already and all of the current ties are left loose as this allows for the placement of additional ties. By using four ties on each side of the dentition in sequential embrasures, he has created a buttressing effect that strengthens the construct. This is very helpful for closed reduction cases. With a needle driver, the surgeon uses the blunt tip rigid introducer to enter the upper dental embrasure through the buccal side of the gingiva. He uses the largest size possible, 18 gauge, to minimize the risk that the suture will pull through the contact point, or otherwise known as flossing out. He then inserts the introducer into the lingual side of the lower dentitia. Next, the introducer is placed into the green side of the clasp head perpendicularly. Make sure that you have the jaw on occlusion before st starting to tighten the mini ties. It is always key to ensure that the suture is fully seated at the contact point between the teeth. In this case, the surgeon pulls the suture in a rocking motion to pull the tie through the gingiva. Initially tighten all of the ties finger tight. Make sure that the clasp head is sitting where you want it on the dentition before fully tightening down the suture. Pull on the suture instead of the introducer so that you don't accidentally pull the introducer off. As you can see here, the surgeon pulls the tie in different directions to ensure all of the slack is pulled out and the tie is seated down at the contact point of the teeth. After the initial tightening finger tight, it is key to go back through with instruments to ensure the tie is fully seated down in the embrasure's contact points. Many surgeons like to use a pickle fork or needle driver, as shown here, to hold the clasp head in place while tightening. Remove the tail of the tie once tightening is complete. You will not be able to tighten after this step, so ensure that the occlusion is satisfactory and that the sutures are seated at the contact point. Once all of the ties are fixed in place, cut the excess suture off. For interoperative fixation, you can use suture scissors to leave a short tail about an inch long. For closed reduction, clip off the tails as close to the clasp head as possible. The surgeon here uses a scalpel to remove the entirety of the tail so that it is not bothersome to the patient's buccal mucosa. This case resulted in a good outcome with MMF being achieved in less than 10 minutes. The ties were left on for two weeks and were eventually clipped off in the clinic, which only takes a few minutes using suture scissors.